have been working hard to put together the fundamentals and our entire pregame show for you this evening. Our, our season started actually last week. Our student leaders, you'll see them in the red shirt, we all went to a day leadership retreat where we taught them how to teach, how to lead, and our philosophies this season. Then we kicked, up our, kicked off our first year camp on, on last Sunday, where our first years started to learn our traditionals and our techniques. And then we welcomed back all of our vets on our historic Tuesday night vet night. And so in our roughly 10 days together, we have a lot to showcase for you. These students have been incredibly hard at work, and we're excited for you to see them tonight. If you do things that you appreciate, that you notice, let them get used to hearing the cheers that they're going to hear in Memorial Stadium. Thank you all so much. I'm going to hand you over to Dr. Smedley for some introductions. alumni of the Marching Hunter do we have in the audience today? Raise your hand there. All right. Welcome. How many parents of these wonderful students do we have out there? Any parents? Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing your awesome students. I mean that. They're just, they're so great to work with. And uh, it's been a really fun week and we're going to have a great season. Uh, and I assume the rest of us are, are friends. How many, any faculty of IU out there? Yeah, friends. We'll see. Yeah, we'll friend. Everybody's a friend of the Marching Hundred out there. We'll just say. Uh, I do want to introduce our staff. Our staff have been hard at work. Um, they are they're special, and they've been really, really doing great work with the students. Uh, first of all, with our Red Steppers, uh, the coaching staff. We've got Brooklyn Wood. Lucy <laughs> Pace. And two others, I'm not sure they're here too. Not, yes, Michelle's there. And Natalie Tipper. With our, this year is the return of the IU Color Guard. It's been really great. They have been hard at work learning all the traditional things we do and also trying to prepare for shows and all of that. It's a, a lot. It's like we call it like drinking from a fire hose almost. And uh, the staff has been really, really, really fantastic. Uh, the color guard are led by Dakota Zerbe. <laughs> and helping him out are Amy Cunningham and Christina Cole. <laughs> Our drum line is directed by Webb Sheely. Uh, Dr. Galis and I have two colleagues in the Department of Bands that we want to recognize, people that are very supportive. Uh, Dr. Don McKinney is our new Director of Bands, and he is here tonight. Dr. McKinney. And someone else that we see, that we'll see uh, here in the stadium, Dr. Jason Nam. Dr. Nam. We have great associate instructors. These are graduate students that are studying wind conducting and trumpet performance. Uh, first one, us all the way from Florida via Mississippi and Tennessee. This is Ali Capone. <laughs> Ali will be working with our piccolos and clarinets. Jacob Kessler returns to us. You may have heard that name before. Jacob was a drum major of the Marching Hundred during the 19 and 20 seasons. Uh, then he was a band director in Lebanon, Indiana. Now we've got him back. This is Jacob Kessler working with the Melophone and the Working with our trumpets is someone who really needs no introduction. We call him an AI, a, a grad student. But really, he's been with the band since uh, I was a grad student. Actually, he was a freshman in the band in 2002 when I was an AI. And he's he marched, and then he's continued on with, with staff and works with our trumpets. He's also the voice of the Marching Hundred. This is Ross Wilkerson. <laughs> Work 
compete with our trombones and tenor domes, getting it tenor tone, tenor tone, that is made up of new instrument group. Tenor tones is Jonathan Lebeck, getting a master's degree in trumpet performance. Jonathan. <laughs> And working with our sousaphones. <laughs> you always got to pause for the sousaphones. They love it. They love the attention. They love the attention. <laughs> working with them uh, all the way from the great state of Colorado, Nick Hitman. <laughs> we have a wonderful administrative and logistical staff. Uh, our, the first person I'm going to mention, someone who's been with the band a long time, marched, actually marched every year since 2005, I believe, in some form or capacity. Back then, it was you know, on a daily basis, but now he's our, our band manager and does everything from tricking out the golf cart to making sure the, the band and, you know, is fed and everything's cleaned up. And he does a million things around here. We are so thankful for him. Please recognize Mr. Dan Leather. And the assistant manager is Lauren Reed. Lauren was a, you may recognize Lauren, she's been around in this stadium for a long time going to football games and was a member of the Marching 100 in the mellophone section and uh, we're so glad she comes to help us out on game days and other days and she it's a lot of help to Dan. I know he really appreciates that. So thanks, Lauren. Uh, also, we have our work crew, dance people that get everything set up for rehearsals and otherwise. This we have Jack Hammersley, Will Cusper, Greg Hyatt, and Riley McCurdy. trainers from Indianapolis that will be coming down throughout the season working with our students making sure they're healthy and that they uh, that we take care of them. They are led by Kirsten Cooper. Kirsten was a member of the IU Drumline and graduated about 10 years ago and now is a professional athletic trainer in the Indianapolis area so we're so glad to have Kirsten Cooper. Our photographers Malik Davis and Ryan Siegler, who I believe may be here tonight. Welcome. Our administrative assistant in the Department of Bands, this is Tori Milliken Krieger. Let's recognize her. And our student leaders were led by our fearless drum major, Max Wojciechowski. Her third year as feature twirler, Sydney Butts. In the red shirts that you see on the field, Dr. Galis had pointed those folks out. Those are our undergraduate staff, and they've been hard at work. We lean on them a lot, particularly this time of year for leadership, for teaching, and they've had a wonderful week. Let's all recognize our undergraduate staff. Someone that's been vital this summer in making our new members feel welcome. Also going to orientation sessions and doing some recruiting. We have our new member advisor, L. Fox. <laughs> and last but not least, our student librarians, Brendan Brown, Griffin Collins, Isaac Johnson, Ashley Wenning, and Matt Terry. Let's recognize those folks. All right, like Dr. Galis mentioned, this is truly going to be an open rehearsal. So we are going to get to it here uh, with some warm-ups, um, some sectionals, things like that. We will eventually, uh, we will be doing some marching on the field with some basics, some fundamentals. Uh, we did learn all the pregame this week, so we're going to continue to work on pregame here uh, in the stadium, and we're going to learn run on tonight. But there'll be plenty of opportunities. You'll hear us perform. We will get in. Uh, we will perform for you, and it's going to be fantastic. 
Uh, I think you're really going to enjoy this year's rendition, the 129th version of the IU Marching 100. So welcome and thank you. All right, Marching 100, Red Steppers, Color Guard, and Drumline, you are warming up until 7.40 and we'll then be you in our stands. Marching 100, let's go ahead and take a one minute stretch on your own. Let's go ahead and wake up our bodies. It's time for some marching fundamentals. 